Hello YouTube, this is Dawson Ryder here with my last reviews of the Ben 10 Battle Versions. I'll be reviewing um, Wild Nut, Stinkfly, and uh, Upgrade mainly. I'm going to quickly go over Diamond Head since I don't have his uh, card and whatnot. Um, I picked him up in the 4-pack that also included Chromastone, Ben 10, and Alien Force Ben 10. Um, so that's why I don't have his card and stuff. It was on clearance and I never found his Battle Version, so I thought, why not? Alright, so here he is. He looks really, really cool. He's my favorite of the original Ben 10 Aliens. Um, as you can see, his powers are he can manipulate the diamonds on his body and project them. First appeared in, uh, and then there were ten. First episode of Ben 10. Um, like I said, as you can see, very nice. The nice clothes are done. Um, Omnitrix symbol. He's done this really cool clear, um, blue color. Kind of like a clear variant of his normal self. Um, just the back. Um, as you can see, his hand, oops, his hand's done in a spike style as he was spiking it. And these things in the back can come out just like the original figure. And you can put it in his hands if you want, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but overall, he's really good. This is what they should all be like. Uh, uh, a nice change to the mold to make him look more battle version like. I give him a 9 out of 10. Alright, so let's take that head out of the way. And then let's go ahead and do um, Wild Mutt. Alright, as you can see here, we have Wild Mutt, um, who also first appeared in Then There Were 10. Um, his powers are basically a super senses. He doesn't need eyes. You can see everything through his own senses. And I'm guessing he has slight super strength. I mean, not like uh, Humongosaur or forearms, but he's just basically an animal type creature. Um, let's show you the accessories first. Um, let's take the figure off. And then, um, as you can see, he comes with his own stand, which is done kind of like a muddy style. And as you can see, there's even paw prints where you put them, which is kind of cool. And then here's his card showing his data. And like I said in the other review, as you can put this in here, and it'll read the code. Um, and here is his world, so you can put that on the back of his stand. So that, um, now, also accessories-wise, he comes with the drooling part. This is for his mouth. And let me take this off here. This is for his claw. I think it's supposed to be like a claw drool thing. I don't know. Um, the figure itself is pretty nice. It's basically the same mold as the original, um, just with the clear arm. Um, it, it's done really nice. I mean, the color's right and everything, and the, these little things are done nice. I don't like the holes there. I could have covered those up. Um, he's got the barcode here. But overall, he's pretty nice looking. I mean, I'm, if, since they're going for the drool feature, except for this white part here, which could be conceived as drool, or, excuse me, perceived as droll. Um, I don't know why they had to make this orange clearness. It just kind of looks off. Um, I don't know. He kind of looks like a hologram. Um, articulation-wise, his arms can go 360, and his legs can move back and forth pretty nicely, um, so that he can do various poses with his legs in whatever position you want to put him on. And now, I'll put him on the stand to show how the accessories go with it more, which you saw when I started. He just kind of lines uh, Paul prints up with the holes. Um, there we go. Now, his mouth also, I should mention, can be open and close whatever you you want, which is pretty nice, pretty realistic. And here, here you can see first is the mouth drool, which just kind of rests on his teeth. So you can have it open or closed, whatever way you want. And then, for this claw drool, there's a little, um, thing sticking out corresponds to a hole in his arm and you're just going to want to line it up and put it on his arm um overall oops, excuse me thought I had it on there but overall this is a pretty good rendition of Wild Mutt um same mold but they did add quite a bit of good features to him for this um I can't get that to stay on I apologize I'm just going to leave it off but overall um it's a good mold I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 because they put a little bit more effort. Oh, sorry about that. My camera ran out of battery, so uh, I used that opportunity to put this back on. Um, as I was saying, is they um, took a little bit more care in giving him more features to make him more. The drool is obviously a better feature than just making him have clear plastic like they do with Cannonball. So nine out of ten. If you can find him anywhere, good price. Um, pick him up. All right, let's move on to Stinkfly. All right, now we have Stinkfly here. First, let's go over the accessories. All right, here is his stand, which is done in kind of a marsh style. And his car, here's his home world. And on the back here is his uh, bio. And this little thing here, which is his flying stand, comes separately. And you just have to attach it there. Um, here's the figure. 
again, um, he's basically a, um, the same mold as the last one, the same figure basically, just with these things that come off that you attach on here to make it seem like he's shooting goop. But overall, he looks pretty nice, I mean, he looks like he's jumping out of the cartoon. There's no real difference. If you can't find the original Stinkfly, go ahead and get this one, and you get those as a bonus as well as the other accessories. Um, Circulation-wise, his hands go 360 up here. His wings can move around and flap like you want to. And these two legs do move. They move in unison. These can move in unison, and these move in unison. And if you want to, these can actually go 360. I think the other ones can too. It's just it's hard to do with all the other arms. But overall, that's pretty cool. Um, let me show you here. What's cool about this is that he can rest here on his stand as if he's flying. I don't know if I can get it too good right now. But you can get him a really cool flying like pose. And that's what I love about this figure. At first I was like, oh, it's just the same mold with the dumb little goop gimmick. But the stand really won me over and makes it look really cool, really awesome. So I would actually recommend this one over the original. Um, unless you're looking for something specific in the original, like the holographic cards. But overall, Stink Fly, 9 out of 10. I would usually give him an 8, but he gets bonus points for this awesome stand. Alright, let's move on to Upgrade. Alright, as you can see here, we have Upgrade. Now, as usual, let's go over the accessories first. Um, here's his card, his Homeworld. Uh, that could just be DNA, I'm not sure, since he was created by the Galavans. Um, and there's his bio, and then his uh, stance in kind of a techno style. Um, here's the figure itself. It looks pretty nice. Um, again, it's actually a slightly different mold than the original. The original mold just had the hands that kind of just went down straight. But these kind of have curved arms, as you can see. Um, the rest of them is in pretty much the same cartoon style. It's nice that they changed the mold. Um, very well detailed to the show. Nice on the tricks there. Um, Articulation-wise, uh, this arm can go 360, but it can't because of that. Um, and this can also go 360, but like I said, with this one it's possible, but not possible at the same time. He said he can go 360, and his legs can move forward a little bit back, forward and a little bit back. Um, let's just put him on the stand and talk about him for a sec. Overall, it's nice that they changed his mold, which I really like that they changed his mold like Diamond Head. But they could have done something a little cooler. I think they just tried to give him a look like, with his hands, like maybe that he was going into technology. I don't know what they were going for with that. I mean, on one hand, it's nice they changed his mold, but he's just kind of boring and doesn't do much. Um, and it doesn't really add to his mystique, I guess. To me, I, I'm going to give him a 7. I'd say, that the, if you're going to have a cartoon actor, so go ahead and pick up the old one. If you can find it, I mean, it's definitely um, nice to change the mold, like I said. But they could have done something a little bit different. But it's kind of hard to do for upgrades, so... Overall, he's 7 out of 10, so this will be my last Ben 10 review for a while until Alien X comes out or the and the new 10 for Alien 4 Season 3 and Evolutions, unless I maybe decide to do the original Omnitrix FX, maybe. If anybody wants to see that, just let me know, but other than that, it'll be my last one for a while. So until next time, this is Dawson Ryder signing out.